I'm K Black. Yeah, I know who I am. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, both Earl Spence and Sean Porter made weight. They both came in at 147 pounds, and we have ourselves a fight. I've said this earlier when it was, you know, originally announced. This fight has uh, the potential to be the fight of the year candidate. Um, both these guys are going to come to fight, man. This is a unification belt. Although I did state, you know, forget the belts at one point in time. And the reason why I was stating that is because of all the politics, the promoters, the fighters themselves, you know, um, the uh, belt organizations, you know, the whole nine made me say fuck the belts. But at the same time, when you do have a fight of this magnitude and you do have guys that's, you know, willing to unify. I had no choice but to, you know, uh, shed light on it. And, you know, that's a good thing for the sport of boxing, man. You know, the IBF as well as the WBC will be on the line. We will have a unified champion in the welterweight division, bringing someone closer to uh, being the number one guy or being the number one guy. And um, hopefully, you know, the winner, unless a draw happens, but, you know, we push it for a winner. Hopefully the winner continue to collide with the other title holders in the 147-pound division, man. But right out the gate, Earl Spence is going to win this fight, man. I got Earl Spence, but I'm going to say this without a shadow of a doubt. Sean Porter is going to bring everything in his power to try to win this fight. The two losses that he has has been close fights. And I think the same thing is going to happen in this particular fight as well. Sean's going to bring it. But I just think uh, I can't pick against a boxer who I truly believe have the better boxing ability. He just has, Earl Spence has the better skills. Yes, Sean Portis do have will. And in some cases the will can outdo the skill. But I don't think that's going to be uh, the matter in this case, man. I just think Earl Spence is going to be able to defeat Sean Porter. Um, you know, use his uh, softball jab, use his left straight, uh, go to the body when he's supposed to, and um, get out of there, man. Um, I know they were saying that Sean Porter is more of a rugged fighter. You know, everybody knows that. Fight like a football player, a wrestler, quote-unquote, you know, the whole nine. But that's the best way that Sean Porter has a chance to win. Make it as ugly as possible. They think you're going to fight that way anyway. So instead of trying to box like you did in your previous fight, made it harder for yourself, go go for broke, man. That's the only way you're going to win this fight. You're not going to be able to outbox Earl Spence. You're going to have to go for broke. Um, elbows, headbutts, the, the whole nine, man, if you're going to try to you know, uh, win this fight. And I'm not trying to say that he should headbutt, but what I'm stating, that his head should be in his chest, and he should be going for broke. Keep it close quarters. Earl Spence can't fight on the inside as well. He you got he's a devastating and I've said this, you know, devastating body shot uh fighter. When he hit you know, when he go to the body, he's devastating, you know, in my opinion, the best body attack in the sport of boxing today. You know what I mean? Like none other, you know. Um but he also can fight midway. Long range as well as inside. So, he, I mean, the dude, you know, the dude can box. You've seen this last fight against Mikey Garcia, man. He, his, this display was on, you know. So, we know the guy can box. And I just think he should fight tall and just keep Sean Porter at bay. And make the fight easier for him. And if Sean willing to try to attempt to win in this fight, he's going to have to make it as ugly as possible. He shouldn't be trying to box with a taller fighter. Especially a, especially a fighter that is actually better than him in that you know, in that art form. So, um, I don't think a knockout is going to happen. I only seen Sean Porter knock down once, and it was against Adrian Broner. And he was he was just truly relaxed in that fight. He was ahead of the scorecards, won every goddamn round, in my opinion. And there's no excuses, but, you know, he got hit with a left, uh, a left hook that he didn't see coming because he was so relaxed. But he got right back up, and he continued to fight, and he won a fight uh, quite easily, in my opinion. Um... Uh, I seen him buzz before, but 
he was able to recoup very well. I never seen uh, to this point Earl Spence in no like form of trouble against the fight against Carol Brook. Carol Brook did uh, win some of those early rounds, but other than that, man, you've been smooth selling for Earl Spence, and I don't think I just don't think a knockout is going to happen when you have two top-notch caliber fighters. And I know people don't like the way Sean felt, like I stated, but he's still a top-notch fighter. He has a belt, and I'm not going to uh, knock that at all. So uh, he's a WBC champion. Earl Spence is the IBF champion. We've got a unification tomorrow, man. It's going to be a wonderful fight. Man, who do you guys got? Earl Spence, Earl the True Spence, a Showtime Sean Porter, man. In my opinion, I believe Earl Spence is a better fighter. I just think he's going to be able to outbox Sean and, you know, roll up into a, a unanimous decision. But I can see maybe an eight rounds to four, maybe nine rounds to three type of fight. I can kind of see that, you know. But uh, if Sean Porter really brings it, brings it, like I think he is, he'd definitely be seven rounds to five, man. I'm K Black. Y'all know who I am. Shout out to the mighty, the almighty, LDBC, Lions Day and Boss community.